Zach Mirbach here. Um, today, I'm going to be going over the Bayer Dynamic replacement pads that we made at ZMF for um, a couple Bayer Dynamic headphones I have in house. And they also work on a bunch of other models of headphones. I'll go ahead and have those listed in a product page. Um, and yeah, so let's get going. And you can see here that I've got the uh, DT990 Pro. I already have the ZMF pads on these and got the uh, pads off those. And then I have a uh, pair of DT770 Pros here, which are the closed backs, 250 ohm version. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the hats unit, the Brule and Care hats unit that we'll be doing measurements on today aside. All right, so that is a general measurement of the uh, right channel of this Bayer Dynamic closed headphone. Um, the basics of it is that these pads just go along the outside flap here. And all you really need to do is just kind of pull them off. And you can see there's a rim on the outside of the Bayer Dynamic headphones. And most headphones have some kind of attachment method like this. So we'll go ahead here and just like with the ZMF pads, I like to turn these inside out kind of like a sock so that you have the flap kind of up over the side here. And then just place it on the rim on the headphone, usually placing it in place of how you want it to end up is easiest. And then you just kind of go around in a circle, pinching, put your finger here to hold it on and just go around and unfold that sock, so to speak. And I'm just gonna go around and kind of twist the headphone as I go and put Nope, back down here. Put the pad around this rim. And the toughest part is when you get to this joint right here on the Bayer Dynamics. Right on that joint, you gotta make sure that the pad kind of slips between uh, the gimbal and the rim right there. And that'll get the pad on. And so you can see now we have the pad on this side. And the one thing I'd like to do at the end with these is just kind of give this a little twist, a little, just kind of back and forth. It kind of just helps the flaps ease in there. And now you can see I got these pads on here. You know, if you want to match up these uh, seams right here, you can, but it's not important that much because the pads are totally round. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get this back on the uh, Brule and Care hats unit. So we've, uh, yeah, we've appended the graph data here. And let's go ahead, get this measurement. Make sure we have a nice seal. All right. All right, so you can see the uh, measurement is pretty similar, but uh, you know, boosted the base up quite a bit. And you know, the sock pads are great, but you know, with these, we're going for something a little different, a little more base boost. All righty, so got the measurement rig ready here. Let's go ahead and get this measurement of the DT990 Pro 250 ohm with the ZMF pads on it. All right, so let's get rid of. So this is just interesting here. You can see the difference between the perforated pads on the open and closed headphone. Obviously, these perforated pads are much more suited uh, to the open headphone than the closed. Uh, this is going to be a rather nice headphone to listen to, while this one probably won't be. And then we can just compare, uh, you know, the 770 closed with the 990 open with the ZMF pads. So you get, you know, two kind of quite different frequency responses. So let's go back and uh, let's put the stock pad on this real quick and uh, we'll see how that measures. And same thing, if you're going back to stock pads, you know, there's not as much a flap on here. So you can kind of go ahead and kind of snake this around on the headphone um, and kind of pull outward because it's, it's just kind of a different flap design. The ZMF flap design will allow use on a more variety of headphones um, than a smaller flap like this, and that's kind of why we do it. Um, and so that's just kind of the differences between the attachment flaps on these two. Get this stock pad measurement versus the ZMF pad. 
And here we go. And great, yeah, so you can see the uh, ZMF pad uh, versus stock DT770 Pro, or no, this is DT990 Pro. So you can see the stock pad um, DT990 Pro 250 ohm open bayer dynamic headphone. Um, the ZMF pad is the green, and then the stock pads are the red. So you get just a touch more bass, and it just makes it overall into a slightly warmer headphone. I've really enjoyed using this uh, with the ZMF pads. I've used it a lot with video recording and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think you guys are uh, really going to enjoy it. And, you know, I put a lot of effort into these pads. We made like three or four iterations of them. And uh, this is the one I liked the most. I mean, I think the most defining characteristic of it is uh, with the, the opening here being quite a bit bigger, um, you know, not velour. It really moves the ear away from the driver a little bit, gives you a pretty like more open cavity and the headphone um, just feels, you know, pretty open as you put it on. I mean, you put these headphones on and your ear has quite a bit of space to move around. So I think aside from, you know, the Sonic stuff, we just went over there that just wearing them is going to be, uh, you know, feel really nice. And I think you'll really enjoy the ZMF pads. So yeah, these are a uh, Grotto headphone. Um, I don't know exactly what vintage, but the original GS1000 uh, that I got on uh, eBay. And uh, yeah, so we went and laser cut it and used a bunch of different kinds of foam and just found that this quarter inch thick foam works really well as a laser cut unit. And all you're gonna wanna do is take your original grotto pads off. Unfortunately, I do not have the original pads for this headphone. And uh, you'll take the foam and you're just gonna go ahead and just kind of stretch it over the outside of the rim of the grotto and it kind of fits right behind the front panel there. You can kind of see a little closer here from this angle. So the driver's just gonna stick out just a little bit. And then you'll take your uh, Bayer Dynamic pad or any other pad you want. I like the Bayer Dynamic ones and just turn it inside out like you would any uh, normal pad swap. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the outer flap, you can see here, over this pad right there. And the Bayer Dynamic pads are totally round, so you can just kind of spin them how you want. And uh, yeah, go ahead and get that on the headphone. You can kind of see it sits nicely there. It's pretty firmly on, a little loose, but uh, you know, not too tight. And so I think you might like these adapters if you're looking for that more traditional feel. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take this measurement. And yeah, you can see it, uh, you know, kind of gives a, a nice downslope to uh, these GS1000s. Um, you know, a little bit of roll off in the uh, the base, but it's a nice smooth response and uh, will give you that kind of more traditional feel that you like out of uh, a Grotto headphone. And so, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hope you like the uh, Grotto adapters. And if you want to try them on a Grotto headphone, just add them to your uh, ear pad order or we'll sell them a la carte also on the uh, website. Thanks so much.